good. This lady is a prostitute or whatever, harlot, whatever you want to call her. But Jesus didn't care. And when he approached this lady and asked the woman at the well if he could have a sip of water, the lady was like, you're talking to me? I have several husbands. The one that I'm with now is not my own. Jesus tells that lady it doesn't matter because I love you. It doesn't matter what you did before. It doesn't matter exactly what's going on right now. I love you for you. That's the way we need to be. When a stranger walks up to your door, knocks on your door, asks us to have a drink of water or something, are you going to do it? If that may be Jesus in a disguise. Yes, it's dangerous, but we've got to put our faith and trust in God. You may be here this morning and not much to eat. Is the neighbor beside you going to help you out a little bit and give you something? Or are you going to go off and enjoy your big steak dinner while you know the other person beside you is going without? Think about it this morning. Do you have the love that Jesus did. Casting your whosoever. Jesus died for you. Amen. He went to go to prepare a place that we would all be able to go to. Why? Robert, he loved us. That's right. He loved us. You may say, well, that was 2,000 and some years ago. It doesn't matter how long ago it's been. If Jesus Christ was walking this earth right now, I believe he would do it all over again. Because he loved us. And he still does. We have got to strive to be Christ-like. When people make you mad, don't run to your neighbors or down the road, putting them down, kicking them. Get on your knees and pray that God can help you. How many of you this morning wants to see this building full of people? Yes. Amen. And we keep the love of Jesus Christ in this building. And if we keep the love in our hearts, our brain is going to happen. It might take a little time to get the church filled up. But it will happen. When Jesus looked at me and Kevin and, and we decided to get a church going down here in Hillsboro, Jesus right there had a plan for us. He gave us this building. He gave us everything that we needed here in this building. He gave Kevin a kitchen to cook in. That's to show love to the people that comes in to the Open Door Church. That's to show them how we appreciate them for coming. Here in Hillsboro, I was looking online, I don't know, a week or two ago. Bob can probably correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe what the population down here is what, 2,200 or something like that? Uh, I don't know when it was updated. But this is a little town that needs a little taste of that love. 
Even if it takes you 2,200 days to go person to person a day to show love, we can do it. The kind of work that Bob is in, he meets all kinds of people. And every time I've been there or Kevin's been there without me, Bob is showing his love to the community and working with people. Could you do it? Think about it this morning, church. I don't know. You may hear me preach on love for the next month or two. I don't know. But we have to get it in us. Not just a piece of your heart. Not just half-heartedly love. I'm talking full-hearted love that is unconditional. Did I give you something to think about this morning? I know I've only been preaching about 20 minutes. But a lot of you knows me, I try to get to the point and not drive things out. But when you go home this morning, or you go out on your jobs this week, tell somebody that you love them. Whether it be your partner, husbands, wives, whoever, maybe your next door neighbor. Even if you was to walk into a bar, go up to the bartender and say, I love you. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. When you do that, that's showing that you're different than the other people that wants to fight and shoot each other and do all this mess. That's what's wrong with the whole world today. From the White House all the way overseas. Why there's so much fighting and killing. Where's the love that America and overseas used to have? There, were, there was always been some kind of fight. There's always something going on. But you know, it could take the smallest person to change things. Did you know that? And that just showed a little piece of love. Write your president and tell President Obama that you love him. The Congress, whoever. That's something that people isn't going to forget. I can remember growing up as a young kid. And people would tell me, other than my parents, that they loved me. I can remember a lot of that. You can remember it. And the love is flowing heart, heart to heart. Anybody can go up to somebody and say that's you know, say that because it's just simple words to say. But it takes a real man or a real woman to truthfully mean it with all their hearts. Amen. So when you go into a place this week or you go visit another church or whatever you do, don't get discouraged when somebody asks you to leave. Don't get discouraged when people run to the other corner, away from you. Sit there with a smile on your face and tell them that you love them. That will fix a lot. And if they have Jesus the way that they should have him, they should respond back one way or another. Did I give you anything to think about this morning? Robert, come and get us a song.